think it's time we all stop pretending that everything's all right around here, because it's not. Sue Ellen was drunk tonight. Yes, Mama, she was. Where was J.R.? I don't know. Sue Ellen was waiting for him at the office. Apparently, he never showed up. Damn it. It won't help if we lose our tempers, Jock. He's responsible for the way she's been carrying on, endangering her own life, her child. Hey, I saw Sue Ellen's car over the side of the road. Is she all right? Where is she? She's upstairs in bed, drunk. Where were you tonight, Jared? I had a meeting. Went late. Sue Ellen waited at the office. She waited long enough to really tie one on. Well, hold on, Bobby. That's not my fault. The news fault, is it? Did it ever occur to any of you that Sue Ellen is responsible for her own life? JR, we're not trying to lay blame on anybody for it. We just see a problem. We want to stop it before it gets worse. My marriage is my business, Bob. We're family, JR. Like it or not, your marriage is the business of everyone in this family. I want to talk to JR alone. Please, Jock. You were a small child, J.R., when I stopped interfering in your life. For some time now, I've been thinking that wasn't a very wise decision. But just because I didn't say anything doesn't mean I haven't watched and seen. You're power hungry. You're like your daddy in that. But he has redeeming qualities. His love for his sons, for one. I don't know that you have any redeeming qualities, J.R. Is there anyone you love? I love Sue Ellen. From the day you brought that girl into this house, you've neglected her. First with the business, then with other women. You didn't even bother to be discreet most of the time. I don't know why she didn't leave you years ago. Don't you? I know money's important to Sue Ellen and power. But she loves you, J.R. She always has. You just never gave her half a chance. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Sue Ellen's in trouble, J.R. And your child's life is in danger. You must do something about it. It's too late. <laughs> I gave you up too soon, J.R. I should have held on to you a little longer. 